So I've had some questions about uh, what we're supposed to be doing. And I have some people telling me that they just really don't understand what they're doing. And I'm thinking maybe you don't understand Google Classroom enough yet. So let's just take a look again at Google Classroom and, and maybe go over my expectations of what I want you to do every week or every, every day, I should say, when you enter my classroom. Um, the first thing you'll see always is our stream. And if you notice, I just said, remember there's a test on set A on tomorrow. To take a test, you're gonna have to be on Google Meets at the time the class is taking the test, which is 1.30. I expect you to be there. You will not be allowed to take the test unless you are there at 1.30. If you take a test to make 100 and it is at 2.30 and you're not on Google Meets, I, I delete that test. You must take it while I'm watching you. That is the only fair thing to do. My face-to-face -face kids have to be watched and you will be watched too. So the first thing we do, we check the stream. Tomorrow, remember, we got a test. Then we go over to classwork. Classwork is where you're going to find all of your good stuff, everything you need. You should have completed Bell Ringers 1, 2, and 3 by now. Bell Ringer 3 was due on Friday. Um, there's a lot of people who really haven't done their Bell Ringer. I don't, I don't know if you know how to do it yet. So we're just going to take a second and talk about it one more time. Let's look at this week's Bell Ringer. The Science Duo. A lot of what I use. Notice it says... Keep scrolling down for days one to five. I have people answering day one and that is it and they're turning it in. Do not turn it in until your bell ringer is complete. As long as you save it, it'll be there the next day if you're working on one day at a time. That's fine. But by the due date, it's got to be done. So how do I get into this? I don't want you down here typing answers at the bottom. You are to double click on your picture. It brings it up in a drawing. Name. Put your name on your paper. Would you do it in my class? I hope so. Put your name on your paper first and last. The date, would you be expected that in face-to-face? -face? Yes, you would. The day is 9-1. You might as well just go ahead and put it in there because half of you had not done it anyway. All right, so triple beam balance. It is a blah, 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 blah. You have to find it. If you don't know what a triple beam balance is, it might be time to Google some pictures and find out. Look at a Wikipedia site and say, what is a triple beam balance? Can you copy Wikipedia? No, that's called plagiarism. You cannot copy anything that is not yours. You must put it in your own words. Did you see how that just moved on me? Well, this has been in something important I've been trying to tell you. If something moves, and you know it moves, do hold Control and Z, and it will go back. See, it's right back there. It's the last thing I did, so everything's good. When you know you're finished with your assignment, you say save and close. So look, it's saved. So even if I haven't finished the rest of the days, I'm saved. I could finish this another day, and it's saved. So I double click on day two. Look at the text box. It's right here. All I have to do is type in. I'm even going to help you on the first one. It's a funnel. Spell it right. The words are up here. I don't want to hear you can't spell it when the words are up here for you. So you put all 10 answers in. Let's say I accidentally moved this box well over here. What can I do? Hold Control, hold Z. It will go back there immediately. That's your best friend. Immediately fix your mistake. Save and close when you're done. That's how we do all five days of our of our bell ringer. I did want to look at day five with you a minute. This, by the way, is a triple beam balance. You're going on day four, you look at your hundreds, your tens, your ones, you add them together and give me the answer in grams. Day five, you're going to look down here at the bottom middle. That's called the meniscus line. You will look at that line to tell me what uh, this is in milliliters. So that's how we do our bell ringers. Anything top down at the bottom doesn't count. It has to be in the line it's supposed to be on when I grade it.
from now on, I'm not going to take it if you didn't do it the way I've showed you. Then I have people saying, well, I don't know what you want me to do. I've got people saying, I need you to send me exactly day by day in the form that you want me to do. No. Everything you're supposed to do is right here, and I'm not going to do that. It's time for you to take a little bit of maturity and, and figure out what your teachers want you to do if you're going to do this virtual stuff. It is, it is tougher. I understand that, but you're going to have to do that. So the first thing I need you to do every week is I need you to watch the YouTube video. The YouTube video tells you what I expect out of you to do during that week. It's an amazing thing. And then when I start to do my work, I would click it again. And I would listen to what I expected on that day. You can't do all this work on one day. I know you can't. I still have someone claiming they turned it in last night. I asked that person to go in and unclick that. It hadn't been done yet. This should not show turned in until you want me to grade it. Right now, I'm about to grade this work and give this person a zero because they're not listening. And by the way, just turning your assignment in done is going to get you a zero. And believe me, there are people who are not doing any of their work, and we're about to have to start taking steps if it doesn't get done. So we need you to start being serious and getting your work done. Please. So today is Tuesday. I want you to do the exploration tab, the brain pop exploration tab, uh, exploration and explanation. I'm sorry, these are two different ones. You're going to look at the PowerPoint notes and the brain pop. I talked about in the video what I want you to do. I've had people say, I don't know what website you want. Guys, look at the assignment. It says we're doing natural resources. You should be on the website for natural resources. It tells you right here, point by point by point, what I want you to do. The project you're going to do is being done in this Google slide. You will click this, and you will do your project, and when it is finished, everything in this project is finished, and you have done your brain pop, and you have done the brain pop explore it game, and you have met with me, and you've taken your test on set A, and you've done your whole project. Plagiarism is not allowed. If you don't know what plagiarism means, it'd be a good time to copy that word, paste it in, and find out. Because if I find out it's plagiarized, you're getting a zero. But once this is completely done, and you have shared it with me, and you know I can see it, that is the time you're going to come up here and click marked as done. That tells me you're ready for me to grade your project. And if you turn it in ahead of time and I look and I see it's not done, I'm giving you a zero. Because what that tells me is that you're not going to do your work. You're just going to turn it in and say, I really don't care, Ms. Bach, I'm done. So that one person, I know we've talked. After you watch this video, I expect this to go away until you are through with your group project. So that's a reminder. Get that done. Up here it should say unsubmit or something like that. Take care of it. Um, besides that, I've, I've got some people saying, I don't know how to study for my test. Okay, let's remember, the website that has all the vocabulary words is this first one. It's the STEM Academy of Science. Vocabulary words. And it's got, by unit, geology, advanced geology, water, water, seaside escape, moon dance. Look, set A. See? I've even got some stuff highlighted for you so that hopefully it will help you when you're trying to learn that word. It's called the main keywords. Now, I don't do this all the time, but maybe that'll help you to see how to do that. I'll leave it for this time, but next time we're not going to do that, okay? That's where you go to get your words. And that's the words for the whole semester. 
You can bookmark them if you want to, and you'll know exactly where they are. Put them on your bookmark bar under your classroom science sites. So remember, the most important thing is that when you first start for the week, you watch my YouTube video. And you watch it again, and you watch it again if you're not sure what to do. You need to try to keep up every day with what I'm asking you to do. If I say this needs to be done on Tuesday, it really needs to be done on Tuesday. If I say this needs to be done on Wednesday, it really needs to be done on Wednesday. These extensions so that you have until the next Tuesday is in case you have a whole lot of math one day and you just need a little bit extra time. It's not meant for I'm going to do all my work on the weekend and then you get to the weekend and you realize I didn't have time to do an entire week's worth of work. When I release you from Google Classroom, you need to be working immediately through the rest of that class period. If I don't see some things change, I'm going to make you stay through all of Google Classroom and watch you work. I don't know what else to do to change the situation but do that. I don't think it's the most effective thing, but we can if we have to. Please mark under this video that you have seen it. I would appreciate that. That way I know who's checking and who hasn't. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.